After 9-11, of course, there was uh, the natural temptation tendency to say, oh my God, uh, what if these guys had gotten a nuclear weapon? These terrorists are really good, they're really talented, uh, and, and they're after us. And if they get nuclear weapons, not, what happened in New York on 9-11 is, is physically trivial to what would happen if they had a nuclear weapon. So you had a lot of people out there really focusing on this. And I think that's correct in a way. Uh, I would argue that that threat was exaggerated. Uh, it was exaggerated consciously by the Bush administration in, ironically, going into Iraq, uh, where the terrorist link didn't exist. But remember the lines about, we don't want the smoking gun to be a mushroom cloud. Uh, so, so you kind of morphed the, the kind of the 9-11 fear of nuclear terrorism and al-Qaeda into the, uh, you know, the mushroom cloud threat from Iraq. Um, but in any case, people have, have been focused on nuclear terrorism. I, I think it's appropriate and, and, it's, and, and one, can get in, one can be misunderstood for saying, you know, it's possible to exaggerate that threat. Um, and the reason that people do focus on it, because if it did happen, the consequences would be so great. Um, my problem is, is when people exaggerate the probability uh, and instill, you know, kind of excessive, uh, in my opinion, fear, uh, in order to motivate people to do more about it. It seems to me that, that, that you could have a more accurate view of the probability, which is still fairly low, but because the consequences would be so high, you should still be... Um, mobilize. Well, politics don't work that way. Now, President Obama, to his credit, uh, called a, a nuclear security summit in uh, April of 2010, and he brought an unprecedented number of heads of state to Washington. I think it was 44 or so heads of state uh, to focus just on this issue of securing materials against nuclear terrorism. Um, this was a very different approach from the war in Iraq or other things. It was it was saying, look, this is a a, a problem that can be rationally managed. There's only uh, a few score of places in the world where fissile materials exist. We pretty much know where they are. Uh, the number of actors who have to cooperate is finite, and we all know what to do to secure these materials. So let's put our heads together and make commitments uh, to do this. And I think that, um, that that was necessary tells you that political leaders still don't pay enough attention to this, especially in other countries but that this is kind of not that um, dramatic or sensational area of, of policy work. It just, you, you know what has to be done, it's doable. It's a, it's a function of, of getting it done.